Hi guys, welcome to another video. In the last video, we have looked at the installation of Microtech router in VirtualBox and it worked great. And if you like to watch that video, click on the video link at the top right corner. But for those who wanted to do same setup in VMware Workstation with Microtech, how do you do that? Let's look at that in this video with just six easy steps. We will install the Microtech in VMware Workstation Pro and test the connectivity, also get the license for better bandwidth and performance. Before we get started, if you like what you're watching, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. That would encourage me to create more such content like this one. Also, if you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. All right. So this is my blog article. I'll put the link in the description below and we'll start with the step one. Get the prerequisite ready. First prerequisite is you need to have VMware Workstation Pro on your machine. Like VirtualBox, the VMware is now announced that the VMware Workstation Pro is now absolutely free for personal use. I really like this idea and I have created a separate video that covers how you can download and install VMware Workstation Pro for free in Windows. So click on the video link at the top right corner to watch the video. I also have a step by step instruction on how to do that in my blog article. I will put the link in the description below. Next we are going to download the Winbox utility that can be used to manage the Microtech. Click here to download that and under Winbox you can download either 64 bit or 32 bit. I already have it downloaded so let me cancel it. Downloading the Winbox is not mandatory though because we could manage the Microtech using browser using HTTP protocol but I prefer to use Winbox hence I downloaded it. And finally we need to download the Microtech router virtual image by clicking here. Microtech call it CHR cloud hosted router. Scroll all the way down to the cloud hosted router. Download the stable VMDK image and 7.14.3 that is the latest version at the time of this recording. Once downloaded and extract the image, now you have the VMDK file extracted out. And here is a network that we are going to set up for the Microtech router in VMware Workstation. My WAN interface configured as a bridge and that will get an IP address from my home LAN DHCP service. So basically from the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network. And I would also create a separate LAN network where only the Microtech LAN interface and the VMs that are part of can communicate to each other. And if the VM wanted to go out of that network, it has to be via Microtech router. Now to the step two, configure the Microtech virtual machine in VMware Workstation Pro. Open VMware Workstation Pro. Click on create new virtual machine icon to start the virtual machine creation process. In the VM creation wizard, choose custom and click on next. Leave hardware compatibility to default. In my case, uh, I have Workstation 17.x, that's fine. And click on next. Choose I will install the operating system later and click on next. Choose guest operating system as Linux and version other Linux 5.x kernel 64 bit and click on next. Enter the name of the virtual machine, Microtech router. I don't want to keep the Microtech VM files in the default directory and wanted to save it in my SSD drive which has more storage in it. So click on browse and in my SSD I choose VMware VMs. I have a specific folder for that and click on OK. And click on next. In the processor I choose only one and click on next. And memory I just keep it to 256 MB. You can very well run the Microtech without any issue with just 128 MB of RAM and click on next. In the network connection use bridge network. So this will ensure that I can access the WAN interface from the local area network. With that I can manage the Microtech router and click on next. In the IO controller types leave the default and click on next. Click on next. In the select disk option choose use existing virtual disk and click on next. And browse for the existing disk file which we already downloaded. And choose the VMDK file and click on next. I don't want to convert this image so let me choose keep existing format. The interface that we added during the VM creation is a WAN interface. We need to add a secondary interface that will act as a LAN interface for the Microtech virtual machine. We also need to make sure it is totally separate network from the physical LAN network. Only the VMs in the LAN network should be able to talk to each other. We have to customize the hardware in order for you to add the LAN interface. For that let's move on to step number three, add the LAN interface. So click on customize hardware and in the customize hardware window choose add and click on network adapter and click on finish. The newly added adapter selected as NAT we need to change that. So select the newly added adapter and in the network connection choose LAN segment 
at the moment i don't have a separate land segment so i click on land segments create new one in the land segment window click on add and rename it to microtech land or something like that again this is individual choice you can name it whatever you like and click on ok select the newly created land segment from the drop down and click on ok and click on finish you may now power on the microtech router after few seconds the vm is loaded and it's now asking for username enter the username as admin password leave it blank in the license check choose end for no we'll worry about the license later on you are now getting the prompt to change the password enter the new password and come from the password oops the password do not match let me try again enter the new password come from password okay the password is now changed step 4 configure the microtech vm router we have to now access a microtech router gui to configure the router in the cli console type ip address slash print as you can see i am getting an ip address 192.168.1.139 from the lan network in case if you are not getting any ip address by using the bridge interface in vmware i have a step-by-step -step instruction guide to troubleshoot the issue here it is i will put the link in the description below so follow this and you should be good to go if you don't have time to troubleshoot then you can use the nat interface instead in nat the microtech vm will not have a separate ip from the physical lan instead it uses host machine ip address to communicate and the microtech will have a separate private ip so i am using the bridge interface and everything is working fine for me you can now access the microtech gui with this ip so if you don't have inbox you can type http colon slash slash 192.168.1.139 to access the microtech gui using the http since I have a Winbox, I'm going to open the Microtech GUI uh, using the Winbox. Enter the IP address as 192.168.1.139. Ensure to enter the username and password and click on connect. This is a Microtech Winbox Management GUI. To see the IP address, you can click on IP and then address. If you click on the interface, there are three interfaces, two actual interface, Ethernet 1 and Ethernet 2, and one loopback interface but no bridge interface yet, which we will create in some time. Also, if you look at the NAT configuration, it is none at the moment. Click on the quick set menu on the top left corner. We are not going to change the WAN site configuration. We would leave it as DHCP. If you change it to static, then you need to add the default route and everything. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. In the local network IP address, enter the IP as 10.1.1.1. Leave the net mask as slash 24. Check the box which says bridge all LAN ports. What would happen is uh, it will create a bridge. It will add Ethernet 2 as a bridge port. We will configure the DHCP after this. Check the NAT option. This will configure the NAT policy on the router. You can even name the system name under router identity. I am naming it like Microtech VMware RT1 and click on OK. If you now go back to the bridge, you will see bridge 1 is created and the LAN port Ethernet 2 is part of the bridge 1 group. And if you look at the firewall NAT policy, you can see there is a new source NAT policy has been created. Let's now configure the DHCP for the LAN users. Go to IP, DHCP server, click on DHCP setup. In the DHCP server interface, choose bridge 1 and click on next. Leave the DHCP address space as 10.1.1.0 24 and click on next. Gateway for the DHCP network would be 10.1.1.1. In the address to give out, I'll give 10.1.1.10 to 50 and click on next. DNS looks good. Least time looks good as well. DHCP setup has been completed successfully. Click on OK here. Step 5. Test the Microtech network traffic. To test the network traffic that is going through the Microtech, we would need to bring one of the virtual machine into the Microtech LAN side. So I'm going to choose Windows 11 virtual machine to the Microtech LAN side. It doesn't matter what VM that you're going to use to test the network traffic. You could even choose any Linux distribution out there if you have. But I choose Windows 11 because I already installed Windows 11 in VMware Workstation. To bring the VM to the Microtech LAN segment, right click on the Windows 11 virtual machine that I have and click on settings. At the moment it is selected as host only. 
change it to LAN segment and choose a Microtech LAN from the drop down and click on OK. And power on the virtual machine. Windows machine is now powering on. And let me log in. As you can see at the bottom, I have internet access, which is awesome. Let's see the IP configuration now. Open command prompt and type IP config and hit enter. You can see I got an IP address 10.1.1.50 from the Microtech router. Let me run IP config slash all that will give more detail. As you can see the default gateway, DNS, everything that I got it from the Microtech router. If you try to ping my LAN gateway, it should work fine. Ping 10.1.1.1. As you can see, I'm getting a response. Let me browse my website. The site is loading. However, it takes forever to load. That's because the Microtech that we have installed now limiting the bandwidth to 1 MB per second because we don't have a license. You know Windows machine, the moment it connects to the network, it starts talking to Microsoft servers and stuff. So it will add more slowness to the web browsing experience. So we need to come out of this network bandwidth restrictions, right? So let me run an internet speed test to see what is the actual bandwidth that I get. And finally, in the speed test, I'm getting only 420 KB per second. So let's go into the final step. Step six, increase the bandwidth by getting a Microtech license. To get the trial license, it's pretty easy. You just have to go to the Microtech website and register. Once you register, you may have to note down the username and password of the Microtech portal. To activate the license, go to system, license, Currently the level is free. Click on new license, enter the portal username and password here and choose level as P1 and click on start. Connecting, renewing and done. Great. We got the license and it is valid till June. If you are planning to extend, you can purchase the license from the Microtech website. Click on OK here and head back over to the speed test site. Rerun the test again and um, Loading, loading, and this time we are getting over 100 meg per second. So we no longer have this bandwidth restrictions. Awesome. And that's how, my friend, you can configure Microtech CHR virtual router in VMware Workstation and create your own separate virtual LAN network in VMware Workstation. And that's it in this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.